Hello, my name is Anthea Gibson. I am a student at Aspen University in the RN to MSN program, currently enrolled in Essentials of Nursing Research. Today we will discuss improving care quality and patient safety in the progressive care unit. The clinical problem, insufficient nurse staff ratios and unsteady bedside reporting negatively affects progressive care patients during a hospitalization. This problem is observed in the progressive care unit and also intensive care unit, and really most units to be honest. The leading cause of nurse burnout among nurses and other healthcare workers in the progressive care unit is insufficient staffing. According to various studies, medication and medical errors that occur trace back to the number of patients a nurse handles in a shift. Unsteady bedside report reduces their ability in terms of accuracy and effort or dedication brought about by lack of concentration. The two factors of failure or minimal bedside report and insufficient nursing staff ratio leads to missed nursing care which decreases patient safety and increases patient complications. So, summary of the knowledge available on the clinical problem based on appraisal. Studies have shown reducing the numbers of patients a nurse and other healthcare professions attend to improve quality of care and patient safety. The study also observes negative linkage between nursing patients were observed due to insufficient staff ratios. The relationship between insufficient staff ratios bedside detailing among hospitalization patients. The intervention was that better nursing patient ratios would minimize irregular bedside details among hospitalization patients. Researchers have also showed that proper shift delivery between active nurse or healthcare staff would improve care and quality in a progressive unit. The intervention was reported of the healthcare staff needs to merge all required information about a patient's treatment plans to, to allow a smooth transition and proper care of delivery. For example, on my unit where I work, we implement, it is so important to give pertinent information. Give the necessary information about the patient that applies to them in this stay. It is called pertinent bedside shift report, for example. According to the research and studies, three, lead, three leading factors to miss nursing care which influence the quality of care in the patient of a progressive unit. The main factors were insufficient staff, increase in patient volume, and work burnout. And to be honest, during these times, I believe a lot of nurses are starting to feel work burnout. The intervention, according to the study, was better nurse-patient ratio and effective communication strategies between nurse and patients, communication, elements such as patient calls negatively, which influenced the quality care in the progressive unit. The intervention of excellent nursing staff ratio fosters decent bedside shift report, improving care and quality, and allows multiple, multiple disciplinary team to distinguish a patient's needs and adjust fitting appropriately. Imagine being a nurse, for example, and having over seven patients. How are you effectively given patient-centered care and adequate care when you're constantly moving in and out of rooms, not noticing if there's changes in your patient because your ratios are so high? According to the study, better staff levels through precise methods that uphold the nurse-to-patient ratio at optimal level is essential in the view of the quality of care and patient staff. In the study, the intervention was the maintenance of better nurse to patient ratio and increased affordable nurse and healthcare organization for areas such as progressive care and intensive care unit. So a strategic plan for implementation of a practice change in my clinical practice environment. Have management support for change, sorry, excuse me, have management support for changes, and this should be demonstrated when communication and interaction with healthcare staff. Provision of case changes in the progressive care unit. This can be retrieved from various internal sources, such as 
missed nursing care incidents, medical errors, and others. Employee involvement in the identification of the need of change. This can be achieved by educating about the clinical problems observed in the progressive care unit. Communication of change to the employees by the management. Poor communication can lead to resistance of change. It's so important to be on a team with your nurses and your clinical managers where everyone feels like they're being heard and can give suggestions to improve not only the patient's care, but the morale of the unit. Create and enforce treatment for implementing and evaluating the change. Employee training should be done and this will be assisted by the team that has been created. Assessment of change to analyze if it is working. This can be done through evaluations and internal factors. Dealing and removal of barriers. The employee will be provided with a system to report the negative issues that are associated with change, provision of feedback, and positive reinforcement. How will I optimize the practice change in your practice environment? Develop a program that educates the healthcare professions on effective report of missed nursing care. Introduce new effective guidelines for reporting missed nursing care and medical and medication errors. Lower the patient to nurse ratio, reduce load, reduce your workload for the healthcare providers. Introduce a introduction of programs that target to improve communication skills better be sorry communication skills between healthcare providers and patients upgrade the guidelines of bedside detail to target better shift exchange between healthcare providers the theoretical model i will use is the iowa model of evidence based practice to promote quality care the model offers guidance to healthcare providers in making decisions about clinical and administrative practice that affect patients outcome Focus on knowledge, learning, and share at leadership levels and employment levels. The implementation team can assist, educate, or share information to other healthcare providers. Encouragement of collaboration activities between healthcare professionals, finding ways to improve the relationship of the, of the staff members. Probably a little outing, bowling, um, picnic after work. I know we are in different times now, so that's very limited. So why not a Zoom party? Provision of resource for adaption and learning. This will include staff training and recruitment of, sta of skilled staff. Internal evidence will I use in providing data and demonstrating improvements and outcomes. Miss Nursing Care Report will be used to analyze the outcome. Improvement associated, decreased numbers of missed nursing care. Reinfection rates in the progressive care unit will also be used in internal evidence. The main outcome target is to decrease of infection rate. Medication errors will be used to analyze the outcome. The main outcome target is decrease of medication errors. errors. Other internal evidence I will use in providing data in mortality, is mortality rate, complication rate, and healthcare performance. So the evaluation method implementation for my assessment is summarized as evaluation methods will be used to analyze the implementation. One method will include surveying. The healthcare providers will be interviewed about the change, test and review, for the education program for the new guidelines will also be used as an evaluation method. Patient feedback will also be used as evaluation method. For example, satisfaction rate of patient, and I actually work on the satisfactory team at my hospital, so I am the one who definitely gets all of those recommendations, the goods, the bad, the DAISY Award nominees, I receive those and analyzing of internal evidence change based on the new implementation. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my, my PowerPoint and my presentation. I hope that this was effective and you all learned something and have a good evening. Thank you.